Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast, the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions from the worlds of TV, film, pop culture, social media, news, music, sports, everything really depending on the guests. We talk about it all. As always, I'm your host. Peter Meredith, social media, you know me as PD Beats. You'll recognize my guest from a show that just dropped on Netflix called Grand Army, which is available worldwide. We're with Anthony Ipolito. Anthony, welcome to Pop Turnative, man. How you doing? Thank you for doing this, man. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you for having me. I mean, it's kind of cool because, you know, the show kind of drops and you've been working on it for quite some time. But like, I feel like like a day before it kind of drops, it's like the calm before the storm a little bit. Like, what was that like talking to like your family and friends, your cast, like before it dropped? Yeah, it was super weird, man, to be honest, because, yeah, like you said, we filmed this thing like a year ago. And it was so at that point when I would tell people in my life about it, it felt so new and so like real to me. And people would be like, okay, like, whatever, like, you know, because it was so distant to them and they just hadn't even heard of it. But now it's like becoming real to everybody. And it's like as far away as it's ever been in my memory to me. So it's like, it's just super weird, but everybody's excited and I love it. Absolutely. And it's cool because, you know, it it gets dropped on Netflix and Netflix has an amazing track record, obviously, of amazing shows. What's that like to be part of like the Netflix family? (laughs) i don't know how to respond to that it's like i mean dude (laughs) it's crazy it's absolutely craziness it is for sure um getting into the before we get into kind of the meat and potatoes of like grand army i mean for you specifically you know um whether you act whether you write direct perform like musicians too i was i call you guys storytellers so when did anthony polito decide that he wanted to be a storyteller like when did that start for you when did i okay um Hmm. Okay. So when I was like two years old, <laughs> I, yeah, well, this wasn't like a conscious decision. <laughs> but when I was, yeah, when I was two years old, I was like a weirdly good little baseball player kid. So I was on like news shows for that. Mm-hmm. And uh, I got hooked up with an agent somehow. I think I was doing like a little photo shoot, like my little two year old self. And somebody was like, oh, he's got like a little personality. He should be an actor or something. And my mom acted when she was younger. So mm-hmm. she got me into it. And, uh, yeah, it's the rest is history, I guess. Uh, I don't, I don't even know what happened to be Absolutely. honest. Here. And we're here to talk about Grand Army, and we will. But yeah, it's a short list of people that got to play Adam Sadler as a child on screen, and you are one of them. It's yeah, it is. It's a short list, and <laughs> I was so honored to do that, man. It was like one of the highs of my life, I have it, to say. And, and you know, like I'm, a, we're, we're like, oh, yeah, I feel like it's cool because it's like Pixels is like video games and everything. And and isn't it weird that like being a nerd is like cool all of a sudden? Yeah, yeah, but I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I like it a lot. Let's 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 flip the narrative. You know what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. So Grand Army. Um, one thing I've kind of noticed about the show that I want to get into, and we'll get into your character and and certain things, but. There's two kind of, I think, layers and issues at hand with Grand Army. One, there's a lot of the things that happen in society that, you know, are unjust to certain characters and life just kind of like sucker, sucks people in and there's unfortunate things that happen and the show tackles that. The show yeah. also tackles, however, so there, the show tackles situations where it's beyond, you know, characters control and they get in messy situations. The other side of it, though, however, shows situations where people make unfortunate choices in life and it brings them down a really unfortunate path where they're not using their brain and they're not thinking. Have you ever mm. thought about that? The, the society and then there's actually like the self, like the choices that characters make. Yeah, for sure. I think there's definitely like a lot to unpack with all these storylines in the show. And uh, that's why I'm glad you've had a couple of the other people on here to talk about it. But um, yeah, I think Grand Army is tackling a lot of um, some flaws in our social fabric that make society like quite unforgiving in certain ways, especially for certain people. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it really exposes that in the show. And it shows how like the way that just our culture is set up and there are certain pro- 
problems that, you know, are that make it really difficult for, you know, for kids in high school or college or growing up, you know? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And this must have been a very diff like you've you've acted for mo like most of your life you've been doing it as like when you were young but this must have been um like what was this th this role like this is a very serious role um it must have been difficult at times to to shoot yeah yeah for sure there was definitely a lot of heavy subject matter uh thankfully we filmed most of the heavy stuff after we had already really gotten to know each other and so we felt a lot more comfortable because it is an exercise in trust uh, more than anything, I think. So thankfully, we didn't just like rush on to set day two and be like, okay, here we go, you know? Yeah. And I feel like with your character specifically, you know, um, with with that whole storyline, I mean, it's like un it's like an unfortunate slow burn because we meet your character in the beginning and, you know, he's a teenager, you know what I mean? They're joking around mm -hmm. and everything, you know, they're having a good time and then stuff happens that's just like, these are like not the, you guys are not good people you know what i mean there's like a, right. a, a switch that flips if you know what i mean right no for sure yeah i think that whole series of events that happen is in a lot of ways like a perfect storm and we spoke at length with the writer uh, katie capiello about that going into it and it's just how you know um none of these people are um at their core you know have malicious intents um but it just plays out like that and people are exposed for certain you know problems that they have in their own you know psychology that manifests itself in the physical world in a really negative way mm -hmm, absolutely for people that follow you on instagram you posted something recently in regards to toxic masculinity mm, yeah is there yeah. anything you want to kind of share in regards to that I mean, yeah, I mean, well, I just posted uh, m uh, my boy Alfonso's article, who's in the show, who plays John Ellis. He's awesome, and uh, I loved his article, Teen Vogue uh, posted, and uh, yeah, no, I mean, just with toxic masculinity, I mean, it affects, obviously, my character. It affects a lot of guys in high school and college growing up, and just, um, it puts, there's there's certain, like, there's certain, uh, the, the idea of, of what it's like to be a so-called man in our society is a bit flawed in certain ways. And, uh, and unfortunately, you know, guys catch the brunt of it and have to, you know, like they think that they have to hold in their emotions. They think they have to behave a certain way. They think they have to, you know, speak a certain way in order to feel accepted or something. And, uh, it's truly unfortunate. I think, you know, the only thing that we can do is try to just change the narrative for sure. And I feel like other storylines, you know, with, you know, Jaden and Malik's characters as well with, you know, the, with, with Dominic's bag and everything. I mean, that whole thing is really unfortunate because, you know, you think you're joking around and you're having a good time and look at the damage that like th idiotic, like not thinking thing kind of did for them. You know what I mean? Yeah yeah it's 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 horrible and it's and like i said earlier it's just pretty much exposing just a, a flaw in our social fabric more than anything mm -hmm. you know because obviously nobody deserves what happened to them and it, yeah and it happens there's social injustice all over the place one right of the now. things that people are you know saying that's pretty effective with grand army is how real it is obviously this is a fictional show because you know your character is like g is not a, like a real person you know what i mean but you know yeah. it 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 but like you know a lot of like there there's a lot of realness with yeah. these characters a lot of people kind of go through a lot of what a lot of characters are going through do you think that's why shows like grand army 13 reasons why euphoria are like really popular these days because they are so real yeah, I hope people I hope people can relate to them. I mean, that's pretty much the idea, you know, like we I feel like as a society now we're at we're in a place like, you know, I feel like our sensibility changes as a population mm -hmm. over time. But I think now we're really in a place where we want a mirror. We want we want to see things for how they are. We're kind of like tired of the popcorn -y thing. I mean, that's just maybe my opinion. But um, and yeah, Grand Army, that's what I loved about. Uh, that's what I loved about Katie's vision. That's what I loved about the script. It just it just wants to tell like it is and it doesn't really you know give you any answers it's not like a psa it just like it's like here like talk about it think about it relate to it 
I'm sure there's many different answers to this question, but for you, you mentioned like the script, and I find that interesting. When you're kind of given a script, when Anthony Polito mm-hmm. is given a script and he's looking at a script, right? Yeah. W- different people have different things that they kind of like about scripts. For you, mm-hmm. what will kind of draw you to a script? Ah, man, you, you know, like you said, you said earlier, like you kind of uh, refer to us as storytellers. So every story is different. Every yeah. script's different. So it's really hard to have like a... Um, uh, like a, a rigid set of, you know, ideas of what you want in a script. But with this one, it was it was just how raw and authentic it felt in the dialogue, how how the characters felt so alive on the page. And th- there was just it was she was it's so on point is so on the nose because a lot of writers just get high school wrong. They get the language wrong. They get the characters wrong. They get the circumstances even a little wrong. They're oftentimes too black and white. And uh, she hit the nail on the head. So For sure. Um, one thing about Grand Army that I think is, interest, is, is, is really interesting too is I, I enjoy like the look of it, like the way it's shot and everything and you know, it yeah. takes place in New York. And I feel like that's kind of it's, – it's unbelievable. I feel like these cinematographers – of our day and age, Anthony, are just like the unsung heroes. Like they're making everything look oh, so amazing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ava Burkowski, Bobby Shore, they uh they killed it. They absolutely killed it. It's 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 amazing. Um okay, so for you, um I wanted to kind of ask you a question. So, okay, one can make an argument that mm-hmm. yourself, Anthony Polito, is a young up and coming storyteller. You know, we're seeing you in Grand Army. We've seen you in Pixels. You know what I mean? Yeah. People see you and you're, um, you know, one could make an argument that, you know, Grand Army is like your breakthrough role. You know what I mean? The one that's kind of starting a lot of things. You know what I mean? Even though you've been doing this for a long time. And that's a whole other thing because people don't realize how long you've been doing this for. Right, 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 yeah. (laughs) I'm with you. I'm with you all the way, yeah. But I find it interesting that you are essentially um, a young up-and-coming storyteller. And you're kind of like a middleman because I feel like there are people that look up to you as an actor and be like, wow, I want to one day be in a show like Anthony and, you know, Odessa in Grand Army. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I feel like you're young enough that you also have people that you're also looking up to as well in the industry. Hell yeah. So you're a middleman. Have you ever thought about that? I, you know what? I appreciate that you're mentioning it because it's making me think about it. Um, that it's just this is it's super crazy. This is it's the only I, I don't know why, but I've just been say I've been using that word so much lately to just describe all of this. It's just crazy. Um, because you're right. I mean, you it's something that I've I've worked pretty tirelessly in pursuit of uh, for a large portion of my life, and to have it, you know, kind of come to fruition in this way is so unbelievable. And you're right. I definitely do have aspirations still, and I have so many people who I look up to. Um, but the idea that, like you said, somebody can even be sitting at home thinking that to themselves is mind blowing. Yeah. Cause you mentioned, you know, you played baseball. So there's kind of this, like, um, and I interview a lot of athletes on the show as well. Cause I'm in oh, Canada and hockey. Yeah. We, we interview a lot of, we've interviewed a lot of NHLers and, and prospects as well in hockey. And, you know, it's the same thing for them because they're like 18, 19, 20. And yeah. junior hockey in Canada is a big deal, right? And yeah. they're kind of like, there's fan like, well, before COVID, you know, there's fans at their games and there's community events and they're in the spotlight. But at the same time, they're like, they're not even there yet. You know, they're on the path to being a pro, a pro, you know what I mean? Right. So they're middlemen at like 17, 18 years old. It's crazy. It's a crazy spot to be in. It's just, uh, yeah. It's and and it, 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 it's weird because everyone has kind of learning experiences and like opportunities to learn. And, you know, you're on a show like Grand Army. You're always learning new things. You know what I mean? What were some learning experiences for yourself as a storyteller on Grand Army? It's a good question. Um, I think just working with the ensemble was a learning experience in and of itself. Just, uh, just the idea that, um, I don't know, like you said, so I was an athlete and I played for a bunch of baseball teams in the past. And, uh, I always appreciated the idea of a team Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, just, it was a awesome kind of, um, revelation I had that we, you like you, you're, you're on a team, you're, you know, you're signing up to play on a team when you, uh, when you do something like this and just to, 
to be working with so many people who have uh, so much talent all have the same goal in mind it's just like crazy no it is it is crazy it's crazy time for sure um crazy down right? but you and uh you and the cast and crew did just an amazing job on this um oh, it's thanks. just it's it's it, this show is just i feel like one can make an argument that it's like one of the most important shows out there because they tackle so many important issues that need to be addressed yeah one could make that argument <laughs> for sure <laughs> Um, very quickly before we wrap up, too, um, not having to do with Grand Army, I'm uh, like I, I'm really into like looking at trends and looking at things that are kind of you know um, hot right now. And I've noticed I don't know if you've noticed this, but mm. the horror genre, like horror movies, yeah. have you noticed how big they are getting? Like how how insane that genre has become? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's actually nuts. I, it's funny because I actually wrote a horror screenplay. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, but uh, it's somewhere in the archives. I have to dig it up again and re-edit it for the millionth time. Yeah, no, but it's just it's it's insane, and it's becoming like it's it's becoming it's cool because you'll see people that are in some of these big Netflix shows, and then you'll see like a horror film that they did like four or five years ago, and then people yeah. go back and see it and watch it. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, that's probably crazy. It is. Wow. Uh, it's crazy for sure. Um, Anthony, thank you so much for coming on Popternative, man. I really enjoyed chatting with you. Dude, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. I enjoyed chatting with you too. I'd love to come on again. Yeah, dude, anytime. Yeah. Um, okay, so Grand Army is available now worldwide on Netflix, correct? Worldwide. It's uh, Right now it's eight in the US on Netflix. Um, that's pretty cool considering how many things you can watch on Netflix, right? That's, that's what I've been thinking, yeah. Yeah. absolutely and um where can people follow you on social media um to keep up to date with everything right now i pretty much only have instagram and it's anthony apolito underscore amazing well which was anthony apolito normal but i don't know what happened yeah. well seriously congrats so far with the success of grand army and I, and I hope it uh gets bigger and bigger for you guys oh thank you so much really appreciate no that problem. yeah so well, this has been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash Pop Turn. For previous episodes, you can catch Anthony Polito in Grand Army, which is streaming worldwide now on Netflix. Until next time, this is Anthony Polito and PD Beats signing off. Peace. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.